Buju, Kinemagian in Ireland edition of and welcome to this production of the My Math Network. Today's episode, Chapter 7, Lesson 4, Problem Solving. The strategy, work backward. Right, let's begin by reviewing yesterday's assignment. And you see the expression e to minus three, then it's multiplied by four. And if you multiply something, it's four times larger. Sample answer here, 12 plus three times two. A few more sample answers, and I'll be going through and checking how you did exactly. But make sure that and the reason there's a sample answer is because you could put it in different grouping using the associative property. The vocabulary and numerical expression is a combination of numbers in at least one operation. Now let's look at lesson four, what we're doing today. Just so you have an idea. You know this planning, understand, plan, solve, check. Pretty common. And you'll have five story problems where we work backward. The essential question in chapter seven, how are patterns used to solve problems? And we're gonna begin in the book at Learn the Strategy. This is page 499. Today we will cross the 500 page threshold on our way to just under a thousand pages total. 575, so 975, somewhere in there. So you can see hopefully you know, if things are going well, we'll be checking in with you on academics and your math standards, making sure you're retaining. So that's important too. And that's part of the reason that I ask that you fill these in as we go, we, like particularly today, 499. Um, that'll give you another mode of remembering what we we're talking about and also give you something to look back on. So our story problem, the Nature Club raised $125 to buy and install birdhouses at a wildlife site. Each house costs $5. It costs $75 to rent a bus so the members can travel to the site. How many boxes can the club buy? Well, first, we're gonna bring this up and save my penmanship skills. We started out with $125. We know that the box costs $5 and the bus rental is 75. What do we need to find? How many boxes can the club buy? Go ahead and write that in. And this kind of pretty much comes right out of this problem. You see the, how many boxes can the club buy is literally the question there. Let's go to the next slide. Our plan, I can work backward. That's gonna be the plan on all of these today, is working backward. That's the whole point of the strategy. We're not gonna give you the strategy and then have you do something different. So now our next step is solve. So we wanna first subtract the cost of the bus because we can't use that money to buy the boxes. So we end up at $50. 50 divided by five is 10. So 10 boxes can be bought. Let's go ahead and fill that in. Give me about another five or 10 seconds. It is important to fill these in as you go. And as always, once I say it's time to clear the screen, if you need to pause the video, you can do that. It is time to clear the drawings. There you go. You see that our answers looks good to us. I can check my work by multiplying the 10 boxes times the five is 50. And then add the $75 for the boss. And if I get back to where I started, 125. All right, let's go ahead and turn the page. 
at 500. Mr. Evans bought the items listed. He had $5 left over. How much money did Mr. Evans have to start with? What facts do I know? He had five dollars left over, and he bought a toothpaste, toothbrush, and floss. Pretty standard there. So you should write this in. Give you about another 15 seconds. If you're gonna need longer than that, you should probably pause the video. All right, I'm gonna go on. Our plan, and what is our plan? Well, what's the strategy? I can work backwards. So you write that in. All right, let's move on. And now we're going to solve. And I can solve by working backward. I start out with the $5 left over, plus I spent four, two, and one. That's gonna equal five plus four and two is six, plus one is seven. I started out with $12. Well, Mr. Evans started out with $12. So there's your solving step. You can copy what I had there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and clear the slide. Usually they did the same. Is my answer reasonable? I could subtract. If I get back to five, we were good to go. All right, it's time for you to practice. I'd like you all to do number one. And then um, and you'll do that by pausing the video. When you're done, unpause the video, come back, see how you did. You may pause the video now. Welcome back. If Seth had bought all of those things after the movie played four video games that each cost the same amount. He spent a total of 19. How much did it cost to pay each video game? Well, I see that the movie was eight plus the three for the drink was 11 plus popcorn was made it 15. And there's four more dollars. Four divided by four was one. So that's the cost. Let's practice uh, one more. Number two, go ahead and let me bring that up. Go ahead, pause the video, solve it, and then return to see how you did. Go ahead and pause the video now. And welcome back. 88 tickets. And we could do that by saying, okay, we had 216 at the end. Minus 20 times 4. Which is 80. We get 24. Sorry, 80. We're going to do a little more carefully. 
which now has us down at 136 divided by two is 88. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clear that. Remember to read the questions closely. You're gonna work back as your strategy. You could submit this if you're in person by turning it in the bin. You could bring it at your next paper exchange. You could also take a picture or scan it and email or text that image, those images to me. Or you could turn it in using the Google form. If you have any questions, please reach out to me during office hours or send me an email at mirland at psychchipschool.net. Hope you have a mental gizhigad. Minwa bama pee.